There is a lot of annoying low-key busted moves in Elden Ring, and I'm not talking about moves that the player can do, I'm talking about attacks that the bosses can do. You know, attacks like the god skin duo sonic roll thing, fire giant's fucking rolling move where he rolls 10,000 feet oh away from you, Malekith's little swirl of death, or Elden Beast using Elden Stars. Those are just a few examples that I'm sure you guys were thinking of when I mentioned, you know, annoying boss moves. But what if I told you that there is one worse than all of those, a move that is so busted and so annoying that it can literally kill challenge runs, one that you might not even know of depending on your build. Of course, I'm talking about my favorite boss of all time, Radagon, or more specifically, his parry move. I don't really know if it has a name. Basically the move he does where he raises his hand and looks like he's trying to give you a high five, but what he's actually doing is he's gonna clap the fuck out of you. Also, just in case you couldn't tell, when I said I liked him like 10 seconds ago, that was sarcasm. I don't want anyone to actually think I like him. In fact, I hate this man. I have a command on Twitch that represents my hatred for him. Anyways, getting back on topic, his parry move is busted and you might not even realize it. Now you might be asking, Scumna, why, why is a parry so busted? You know, it's just a parry. Well, I'll tell you why it's so busted. As far as I know, Radagon can parry not only melee attacks with this, but almost any spell or projectile. On top of that, when he's raising his hand to parry you, he takes significantly reduced damage for whatever reason. I'm not done either, it gets even better. He can parry like 10,000 times in a row if he this wants to. Ridiculous. He could parry at the speed of light. Why? It doesn't matter. He does whatever he wants. Out. It's like whenever Radagon raises his hand, he's actually snorting a line of coke. Because Jesus Christ, why can this man parry like 30 times in the span of a couple of seconds? If you saw me fight Radagon in my bubble or nut only video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. In my nut only run, I summoned a mimic a mimic to shoot nut with me and he still parried every single nut missile radagon was slapping every single unborn child out of the air like it was nothing so when i realized how strong his parry really was i thought to myself what can he parry and what can he not parry that's what we're gonna find out today now first of all i do want to say i don't actually own every single item in elden ring i know kind of disappointing you know how could the great elden ring player pro scum knight not have every item in the game but i will be testing out the majority of items on radagon so i just finished testing out a bunch of different things on radagon to see if he could parry it or not and god damn I underestimated how long that would take. I genuinely hate Radagon even more after this. This man attacks so fast and he just spams so much different bullshit that I genuinely had to go download a god mode mod just so I can actually make this video. Anyways, my original plan was to show you guys each and every different spell, item, or weapon I tested out on Radagon to see whether he could parry it or not, but that would actually take way too fucking long. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna tell you guys some interesting things I found out, such as the fact that Radagon parries more incantations than sorceries, another hint at the fact that FromSoft loves sorcery much more than Faith. Please, just, just let Faith have a win for once, goddamn. Like, some of it didn't even make sense. One good example being Crystal Barrage. If you don't know what Crystal Barrage is, it's basically a sorcery minigun spell. Like, I'm not kidding, this thing shoots more projectiles than pest reds. But you wanna know something funny? Radagon raises his hands, but he doesn't parry it. Which leads me to ask, why the fuck can he parry pest threads, but he can't parry crystal barrage? Oh, and it doesn't stop there, it gets even more funny. Yeah, you know Stars of Ruin, that one spell that almost every sorcery user uses? Yeah, Radagon can't parry that, but you know what he can parry? He can parry some dragon breath. You know, now that I think about it, this video should just be called From Soft Hates Faith. Also, don't forget, for the few things Radagon can't parry, it doesn't even matter because when he has his hand up, he still takes significantly reduced damage, and I mean significant. So yeah, in the end, it really doesn't matter if he can parry it or not, because if he has his hand up, it's not gonna do shit. From all the testing I did, it really does seem like Radagon can parry almost everything in the game, whether it be melee, a spell, or even a consumable. That's right, you heard me, even consumables aren't safe from this man. 
I even tried the Ruin Fragments and it's it literally does nothing to him. If you saw my worst build in Elden Ring video with the Ruin Fragments, you would know that it does a maximum damage of 1. On Radagon, it literally does nothing. It does 0. Well, that is, of course, when he has his hand up and he's trying to parry it. There really doesn't seem to be a rule for what he can and cannot parry. It just seems like it's just random, to be honest. If you ever wonder if Radagon can parry a specific spell or item, I'd say there's about a 90% chance that he can. Oh yeah, another interesting thing I found out was the fact that he can parry a lot of the spells, but he just decides not to. Now that might have sounded confusing, but hear me out. There's a good amount of spells that don't activate his parry move where he raises his hand, but he actually can parry that spell. A good example being the lightning spells. For some odd reason, whenever you're charging up a lightning spell, he just doesn't want to parry it. If you use an item that activates his parry move and then swap to the lightning spells, he can actually parry it if you shoot it while he has his hand up. I don't know if it's intended to be this way, but god bless, we finally have something that can hit him. Also, I almost forgot the most funny fact I learned. This man can parry darkness. I kid you not, this man quite literally can parry darkness, and I thought the spell just couldn't get worse. That pretty much sums up everything to be honest, like Radagon can parry almost everything in the game. Which leads me to believe that the Ancestral Infant Head is Radagon's kryptonite, because he cannot parry it. Wow, who knew the Ancestral Infant Head was that powerful? Radagon can parry darkness itself, but he can't parry the spit of a dead deer. After all this, I genuinely believe that Radagon's deflect or parry move is one of the strongest boss moves ever created by FromSoft in a Souls-like game. Which is honestly kind of funny considering that I've never heard a single person on the internet mention that Radagon can parry almost everything. Obviously I'm not talking damage wise, like this move's not gonna insta-kill you or anything, it's not Melania's blender. But utility wise, this is one of the strongest moves ever, I mean it negates everything. You could give Radagon's parry to any boss, you know, even Soldier of Godric, and it would instantly become harder. Like just imagine if Melania inherited Radagon's parry move. I know damn well at least half of you watching this video right now would have rage quit. Luckily for us though, Radagon doesn't use the move that much and he also has a very little amount of health, which is why a lot of people don't know how strong this attack can really be. I really wish this parry or deflect move was the weapon art for Radagon's hammer, because I would love to torture people in PvP with this. Anyways, that's pretty much about it. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.